our review slash discussions for this week's Bleak Manga Chapter 513. Let's get into this. Like, <laughs> okay, Young Money, you're right. Okay, that's, that, that's what it was true to. So, like, wow. Wow. I mean, that's all that I can say is wow. So, I'm going to get to the summary and then give my thoughts and opinions on this. Because, it's like, what? <laughs> wow, okay. I will say this was a good chapter of Bleach, but it's like, what the heck? Kind of chapter. It's like it's like a what the heck moment kind of chapter. Really, really. That's what this what this chapter really is. A what the heck moment. So basically, we do know that Byakuya is actually dead. When a Shinigami actually dies, not that their um sword, their you know the sword's part is destroyed. It's actually their hilt and sword it whole de um deplenishes and just this it rips apart and just just, just 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 it disintegrates. It's gone. So we see that, and that's the panel for this um page five thirteen, and so. He, he, Bianca is actually dead, y'all. The thing, like I said, I mean, I'm, I'm, I was like surprised that he was actually alive because I did already grieve over him dying. So I have to go through it again. Not, it just, I don't know, it makes you sad to see him go. This is the thing, you know, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna sit here and be like, yeah, he's dead, yeah, good job, good job, Kubo. I'm just, I'm just like, I, cause he's my, I tell you, one of my favorite captains, but like death is needed in, in war and stuff. So I'm just like, as much as I like him, it's it's cool that it, it's it's interesting that ha how this had happened, but it's just it feel it's sad. It's a sad moment indeed, though. It's sad. So it's just it's, he's probably he's actually gone this time. So you know, Byakuya fans, you can actually grieve this time because he really is probably gone for this this moment here. And so basically, we see Ichigo. He and um, Yabak is looking at him, and then Hotball was gonna jump in there. He's like, "Yo, Majesty, out!" And then he's like, "No, he's like, Ichigo Kurosaki." You got out of jail. I am impressed, but you really want to fight me? Fight? You really want to fight me with your torn body like that? You really want to do this? And so Ichigo asks him, "Are you the leader?" And he's like, <laughs> "He's like, well, I mean, are you the enemy?" And he's like, huh, "Enemy, yeah." And he's like, "I right, well, if I am and stuff." And at the time, at the time, I'm not. And he's like, "Don't be kidding me." So are you the one that destroys soul society like this? And he's like, yes, I am. And so that's when things get all freaking crazy. And, cool. and then freaking Ichigo powers up. He's all, like, he's all ready. He's about, to go and he's about to go get him. He's about to go get him. And so he's like, as you can see, Hawkswald, after all we did, there's no other choice. And so <laughs> he's, he, like said, he's ready to face him. He's like, let's destroy him. He's, like, he's ready to face Ichigo. And Ichigo charges at him. He throws a Getsuga Tensho at him, and apparently the Getsuga Tensho had no effect on Yuha Bak, because his hand goes right through the smoke and smithereens stuff, grabs Ichigo, throws him to the ground, and as he threw him to the ground, Ichigo tried to grab him, Yuha gets out the way, and then he has his sword, and he's like, time to die, goes down, and stabs Ichigo Kurosaki in the neck. Now that, right there, was very, very surprising when I saw it. I was like, what's going on? Ichigo... Like the thing is, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't expect Ichigo to get his butt whooped. I mean, I thought he could do something. I mean, come on, he's Ichigo Kurosaki. But I was like, what is going on here? He's having, he's having a hard, hard time. And I'm like, dang. But I mean, it's Yuha Bak. He's the main villain. He's supposed to be powerful. So I understand that. Cause you know, I, I was just, I was anticipating maybe there could be a, a way for him to get his butt whooped. And this is showing that he just still leaves. A, he can't do anything. And so he looks like he's about to die. His sword in his throat. And stuff, and he's like, he's still breathing. Take him to our castle. We'll um, resecute re him and make him our, and make him join our crew, or you know, resurrect him or whatever. He's gonna basically try to mess with this sucker's head and use him to be a part of his group and ma ma make mad destruction and stuff. And so, then the thing is here, what's really surprising. This is what the thing that threw me off in this entire chapter here. And basically, apparently, <laughs> what Ichigo has, and I'm like, what the heck? It's Blue Vein. Blue Vein is the Quincy's power that can block, um, you know, block attacks basically. Like how Asnot was blocking um, Byakuya's attack, let, like letting him help, letting him hit him and stuff, where it wasn't doing no effect. That's what Ichigo has. He is Blue Vein, and so that's how the chapter ends. And it looks like there's like a power up going on in there. Ichigo swinging, so things don't, things looking crazy. Things are looking crazy. And so this this is where I want to talk about this chapter because it's like, what the heck? Like why does he have Blue Vein? So what you're telling me, Kubo, is that he also has Quincy abilities? Dude, do you realize how much power this guy has? He's not only a Shinigami, but he's also ha he also has hollow powers. And not only does he have hollow powers, he has full brain powers. And so if you're going to add on some freaking Quincy powers, it's like, why does he need this much power? Like, he's, he, like I said, he's going to be the he's going to be OP. We thought Aizen is OP. This sucker right here. 
when it comes to power and strength, there's no no one's gonna be able to touch him if he if he actually controls the blue vein. You know, this blue vein is for real for him. If he actually controls this blue vein, which is just like what the I don't know. It's just how how did how did the thing is I want to ask too is how does he have Luke Vane? How? I mean, honestly, the only one I'm pretty sure I can explain this is Eisen because he knew him from birth. But it's like, how in the world does this like I have Luke Vane? I, I can't I can't unless he was born a Quincy. Like the thing is, you have you can't you can't can't you you can't have Quincy powers, can you? You can't just randomly get them, right? I mean, that's what's the difference between the, the full brain and, and that. I mean, maybe because since birth he had the, he had Quincy powers, and you know he, his brother his mother was hit by a Shinigami, which would by I mean by a a hollow, which would give him the the full brain power capabilities and stuff like that, and him always having spiritual pressure, and with the sword going through him made him a Shinigami. But, but then the hollow mask, like I said, maybe this experiment that he, that Eisen did that gave him the hollow mask, like, he has all the powers, basically. Like, this is, like, if he knows how to harness all of that into one, nobody's stopping him. Nobody's gonna even, gonna hurt, or hurt him. Because then he, all he has to do is activate blue vein, use his Shinigami powers to have already the power and speed. Because the thing is, you're not supposed to be able to, like, use, like, attacks with, with a lot of power because there's, there's two different, um, types of that stuff with the blue vein thingy, and then, I can't remember what the other one was, but, it's just like, this guy has overwhelming power, I mean, it's just, it's weird, like I said, I, I want an explanation for this now, because, like, the blue vein thing for, for Ichigo is too much, it's like, we should have saw that on Uryu, like, we should have saw that happen with Uryu, not with Ichigo Kurosaki, and speaking of which, we need to see some Uryu, we, I want to see Uryu come back in this, I want to see what his opinion is going on with this whole war, like, this war is going to start, is winding down to its end, so I'm, I would like to see him come over here, or at least notice something, like, we haven't seen him in a long time, so it was like, what's going on, and his father too, so it's like, I want to, I want to know what's happening between that part of the family, if he's going to choose the Quincy side, or he's going to stick with Ichigo, like, I want to know, What's gonna happen with this guy? Cause I asked, I want to bring that back up because since we see each goes blue vein, I, mean, I want to see him with blue vein with and him going holy form and you know what I'm saying all this all this stuff with, with Uryu, not for Ichigo. Like this is just too much. This is too much power for Ichigo to have. He's just too he's too OP having all the abilities in the show. Really, like the only like the thing is I can, I can joke and say uh you know only thing you don't got is freaking the, the bounce power yeah, <laughs> but the bounce is not a, it's filler. But you know he's it, messing around. You know what I'm saying? He's just he has every freaking power in this and it's just it's not fair it's not fair it's messed up it's like share some of the power with some other characters like freaking Ichigo, see, like they could they could have made chad hollow like they could have made him have a whole full hollow form instead of doing the whole full brain thing i don't know it's just this is this is a little too much power for me but the chapter was good nonetheless i look forward to seeing what's going to happen next because apparently you're not going to be able to do ichigo like that um you are a box so you're gonna have to be, you're gonna have to do something else so this 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 fight's still going on it's still going on so this, this, we're gonna have to see what's gonna happen next, cause, I, like I said, Ichigo, I, I know Ichigo wasn't gonna just lose like that. That's why I was kept feeling. That's why I kept feeling. I, I thought he was gonna put up a fight, which he's trying to right now. So let's see what happens in this chapter. I'm looking forward to it. Leave your comments below and tell me what you think of this chapter. Do you think he's just OP now, or like what? What, do you, what are your thoughts on this whole blue vein thing with Ichigo? Cause this is like what the heck. But you know, leave your comments below and tell me what you think. Like or like this review and subscribe to my channel if you want to see some more bleach reviews, slash discussions from me. So yeah, it's been the Breakmaster, and until then, break out.